Be Wealthy and Smart, episode 1376. into a world of wealth and financial freedom without budgets, boredom, or bosses on Be Wealthy and Smart. And now, here's your host, Linda P. Jones. Welcome to Be Wealthy and Smart. I'm Linda P. Jones, America's Wealth Mentor, empowering women and men worldwide to financial freedom. On today's show, we're going to talk about why homes over a million dollars are selling briskly. Now, this goes against many reports out there that the real estate market is in crisis. It's definitely not. There are some areas that have challenges, but because inventory is still so limited, you can't have a housing crash when you don't have much inventory. You have a housing crash when you have too much inventory and they all sell at the same time. That's not what we have here. According to this Dow Jones article by Arthi Swaminathan, it says one part of the housing market is doing brisk business, says the analyst who called the 2008 housing crash. It's been a rocket ship, Izzy Zellman, a housing analyst, says about sales of million dollar homes. The housing market has been stuck in the doldrums with high home prices and interest rates driving some would-be buyers away. But one part of the real estate industry is showing signs of life with not just inventory, but also sales picking up the pace, the category of homes selling for more than $1 million. It's been a rocket ship. Ivy Zellman, the chief executive of Zellman & Associates, a research firm focused on the housing industry, said Wednesday. Her comments came during a webcast hosted by Walker & Dunlop, a commercial real estate financing company that owns Zellman & Associates. Zellman, a housing analyst, is known for predicting the 2007-8 housing market downturn. She said, We've seen a tremendous spike in homes purchased that are valued over $1 million, and it makes sense given the fact that we have so much home price appreciation. Aspiring homeowners today face one of the most expensive housing markets in U.S. history. Buyers are facing rising home prices due in part to lower the normal housing supply. Supply is improving and 37% more homes were listed for sale in June compared with the same period a year ago, according to an analysis from Realtor.com. But inventory is still not back to pre-pandemic levels. It's down 32% compared with 2017 and 2019 levels. Realtor.com is operated by News Corp subsidiary Move Inc. and Market Watch is a unit at Dow Jones, also a subsidiary of News Corp. Yet the high end of the real estate market has seen inventory grow significantly, resulting in an uptick in sales activity. In May, sales of homes over $1 million rose 22.6% across the U.S. from the same month a year earlier, according to data from the National Association of Realtors. The jump was even more pronounced in expensive markets like the Northeast, which saw sales increase in May by nearly 37% year-over-year. In contrast, sales of more affordable homes stalled. Sales of homes in the $500,000 to $750,000 price range only rose 6.9%, and sales were only up 1% in the $250,000 to $500,000 range. Part of the reason sales of homes valued over $1 million were up was the rise due to a run-up in home prices over the last few years. Between May 2019 and May of this year, the median price of a resale home in the U.S. rose from 277700 to 419300 a 40% increase. The increase in home values has also allowed many homeowners to level up. Record high wealth from the stock market and home prices are permitting more financial comfort among the top tier, Lawrence Yoon, chief economist at the National Association of Realtors, told MarketWatch. In several coastal U.S. cities, a typical home comes with a $1 million plus price tag. California is home to the highest number of U.S. cities where the typical home is worth a $1 million or more at 210 cities, according to an analysis by the real estate company Zillow. Runners-up are New York with 66 cities and New Jersey with 49 cities. To afford a $1 million house, a potential buyer would need an annual income of at least $218,000, according to Bankrate. 
the comparison shopping site's analysis assumed that monthly housing costs are no more than 28% of total income and that no more than 36% is spent on monthly debt payments, such as for credit cards or student loans overall. End of article. So we definitely have strength in the market above the $1 million price tag homes. And with the prospect of interest rates being lowered in September, now being priced in the market at an 80% chance, it looks like interest rates will start trending down in September, and there may even be two additional rate cuts this year. That also would bode very well for the housing market. I'll keep an eye on it and keep you informed of what's going on. If you haven't yet subscribed to Be Wealthy and Smart, hit the subscribe button and you'll be notified as soon as new podcasts are available. And all of my podcasts are on my website at lindapjones.com forward slash podcasts. And while you're there, sign up for my weekly newsletter for more wealth tips for your financial freedom. That's all for today. Until next time, live the good life and be wealthy and smart. Thank you for listening to Be Wealthy and Smart with Linda P. Jones. Share the wealth and tell your family and friends about the show. Check out our website, blog, and social media for more riches at www.bewealthyandsmart.com.